And I had people ask me after the game, like, man, how, how did that happen? How did K-State just house a top 10 team 48 to nothing? And I really think uh, you, you got to start with the coaching staff here because Gundy went out of his way to, I mean, you know, he did the right thing and putting it basically all on himself. And he said he apologized to the team for not having them prepared. But so both teams, right, were facing this injury conundrum going into the game. We know right. K-State's situation. Oklahoma State was in a very similar situation. And we did discuss that where they were without like six starters against Texas. Spencer Sanders has been banged up. Well, Gundy said he changed the way that they practiced this past week. And he, he wouldn't get into specifics, but basically insinuated that they just didn't practice yeah. guys. He, he, made it, he made it sound like they didn't practice, right? Well, yeah, he made it sound – Mike Gundy seemed to be saying, I backed off too much on my yeah. guys in practice this past week because of the injury situation, and it didn't work out. Whereas Kleiman seemed to be a little bit ahead of the curve, where K-State may have done some of that going into TCU, and then in the bye week, obviously, before that, trying to get guys healthy, and then said, well, look, forget that. Let's trash it and move on. 